Cause I'm hungry and I want some more stuff. Get fat, watch my whole crew blow up. So get yours. And no, I'm just playing. Uh, all right, guys, your boy DeAnthony come back at you with another unboxing. So this is the Guardians or Collector's Core April Collector's Core, baby. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two Edition. So let's take a look. All right, so. I'm a little late, probably a couple of days or something like that, but this is my version of my unboxing experience. So, here you go. Alright guys, so if you would have gotten April's collector's core, this is what you would have seen. Boo! Oh, damn. Patch in a pin. Pin and a patch. So we got our patch here of Star-Lord. Star-Lord, man! Star-Lord! It's kind of cool. And then our pin. Should I like put like in border in like some of these things on a hat or something like that? Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all those. But here is the pin. For you guys, uh, Gamora. So that was the first unboxing. When you first, this is the real one. When you would have got it, that does it. This is what you would have seen. Bam! Oh gosh. Bam! Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, no, that is the next one. The next box, Spider-Man Homecoming. You know, I got to milk this whole uh, movie thing. So, we got a Secret Empire. Secret Empire. Let's go ahead and open it. I don't care. I don't care. So... Looks kind of cool. Got some cool little graphics there. Looks interesting, actually. Got the action already. As soon as we start, boom! I'd like to see. Yeah. Some Captain America. I might, I might actually read this one and see what it's about. Let's go and go with the shirt. Because... Now, out of all the shirts that I've gotten... I don't, I don't like the material they use on this. It seems a little cheap, a little bit. Um, they do stretch out. They don't like, they don't keep their form really well. But there is the T-shirt. All the guardians there. What do you guys think about the? Um, I don't know his name, but the bad guy from the last one. Uh, with the whole little arrow they control with his mind. What do you guys think about him being a, a a guardian now? I don't know. I like villains to stay villains. I don't really like them to, to become good guys. Because Marvel already has an issue with their villains. Like, no one really cares about their villains too much. So then you're going to make the one villain that was kind of bad... You're going to make him a good guy? I don't know, but whatever. So, next we got a exclusive pop. Looks like there is uh, Rocky Raccoon with, oh, little Groot on the back. So, I am a out of the box. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Because I feel like most people don't know what their pops actually look like because they never take them out the goddamn box. There's some that you just can't really appreciate unless you take it out the box. So, for all those that don't know what their pops, what their pops look like outside of the box, I will show you. And see, you would have never known we got double bobbleheads. This is a bobblehead. That's a bobblehead. See? 
That's one thing you wouldn't have been able to experience. There he is. We got the whiskers. We got Groot hanging on the back. I am Groot! Which I want to do. Which I want to do. So there you go. That is our pop. It's kind of cool. Probably just going to trade it for something. But then, last but not least, we got our Dorbs, Guardians of the Galaxy with uh, Star-Lord. And in a little mini plane, in a little, little mini plane. So that's kind of cool. These are the Dorbs that you guys can collect. I'm not much of a Dorbs collector. It's just kind of weird to me, but I'll probably use this for a trade, too. I trade pops. So, it's kind of fun. The whole trading thing is kind of fun. But if you wanted to see what it looked like, because I know you guys don't take your stuff out the box. Oh, wow. Golly. Hold on, y'all. What is that? Well, anyway, so this is what he looks like chilling. Chilling. Look at all that detail you don't you're not gonna get. You keep it in the box. All the stuff on the back. Oh, and it comes out. There he is. So looks like you can pop any one that you want in there. Now what is this thing? <laughs> so as you guys see, the wing is like, there's no wing on this side. So they put a piece of the wing just like separate in the uh, plastic and then you'll just connect it like that. I'm not going to connect it because I'm going to put it back in the box, but you just connect it and then you got a whole plane there. Huh. That's interesting. But there you go. So... Let's do some quick recap, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. So we'll start with the Dorb, the Dorb uh, ride. I'm gonna give uh, 20 bucks. Uh, we got the shirt. Shirts are always gonna be 10 bucks, but again, I've been disappointed with the quality of the shirt. Like initially it feels good, but I I can only really, only really wear them like two or three times before it looks a little, you know, worn out. But um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give that ten bucks, so that we're at thirty. Um, I'm going to give now since I've been trading pops, um, I'm probably gonna give this like twenty twenty five um, as far as like a value of like trade. Not just like what you would pay. I'm going to give it about 25 30 right now. Um, so. Let's just, let's just call it 55 See, and it's still mint condition. See that? And then we got our, our patch and a pin. Let's just call it, I don't know, five and three dollars. So that's another eight. We got 63. Yeah, so um, I paid $34 for this box. 
And I think it is a great value actually. Now that I'm actually getting to getting into like trading of uh, Funko products, um, I've seen this going for about twenty, um, and then these exclusives usually are around thirty, twenty-five, thirty, something like that. Um, so to me, I got a, a, a sixty-three dollar box, so I'm good on that. So that is the collector's core April unboxing so all right guys let me know what you think is this something about you wish you would have gotten um or are you glad you passed let me know what you guys think i'm okay with it i like guardians of the galaxy i didn't like guardians of the galaxy at first first i thought it was a little overrated then i rewatched it and it was kind of fun so i would say that i'm a fan now and i'm excited to go see the movie um in a couple weeks so yeah or is it a week week and a half something like that I'll definitely be going to see it. All right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let, you, let me know what you guys think. Um, and check out our other stuff. Let us know, you know what you think about our other stuff, too. We do movie, movie reviews and other um, reviews as well. So, all right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm out. Peace.